sketching parabolas. So a parabola is going to look something like this. Where this one has equation y equals x squared. And all parabolas are in the form of a quadratic equation, where the highest power of x is going to be 2. If we had the equation y equals 2x squared, this parabola would be steeper, like so. In a parabola, this one's a concave up parabola because it's facing up. The point here at the origin in this parabola is the vertex, or it's also the turning point. The line going directly through the middle, we call the axis of symmetry. If we have a parabola with the equation y equals minus x squared, this just flips the parabola down. And we say this parabola is concave down. Let's have a look at some more examples. y equals x squared plus 1. So that's the parabola we just drew, but it's got the added plus 1. All this does is shift the parabola up by 1. If we have y equals x squared minus 2, this just shifts our parabola down going through minus 2. If we had y equals minus x squared plus 2, this will just be a concave down parabola shifted up to 2. So we get something like that. Should always label our axis with x and y as well. If the quadratic equation is factorized, it actually tells us what our x intercepts are. So all we have to do is solve these for 0. So x minus 1 equals 0, so x would equal 1, and x plus 3 equals 0, because to find any x intercepts you just make y equal to 0. And we'll minus 3 to both sides, so x equals minus 3. And this tells us our x-intercepts. We also know it's a concave up parabola because both our x terms are positive. And when we times them together, we get a positive x squared. So our x-intercepts are 1 and minus 3. Whoops, that's a plus 1 over there. And it's concave up, so we have to draw it like this. The axis of symmetry always goes through the middle of our two x-intercepts. So the distance from the origin to here is 3, and the distance to this x-intercept is 1, which means we have a total distance of 4. So half of that distance is 2. So 2 away from minus 3 puts us at minus 1. So the axis of symmetry goes through minus 1. If we expand the equation of this quadratic, we get x squared plus 2x minus 3. We can also find the axis of symmetry using the equation x equals minus b over 2a, where a and b, well a is the coefficient of the x squared term and b is the coefficient of the x term. So let's see what happens here. So x equals minus b, so it's minus 2, over 2 times a. Well, the coefficient of x squared is just 1. So we get minus 2 over 2, which is minus 1, exactly in the middle where we just found our x-intercepts. 
We can also shift parabolas sidewards if the equation is like so. If we had y equals x minus 1 squared. So when we have a perfect square, this means we have our normal parabola, y equals x squared, that shifted sidewards. Now, with it being minus 1, you'd think it would get shifted sideways this way by 1, but minus 1 actually shifts it to the right by 1. So the vertex would be at 1, and we have a concave up parabola like so. So if we have y equals x plus 2 squared, this is our normal parabola, y equals x squared, but shifted to the left by 2. Thank you.